championship. This match can be won by pitfall, submission, and escaping the cage with both feet touching the floor. the entrance of the Pope, Elijah Burke. As this is the definitive calm before the storm. As this crowd has been anticipating this event for nearly two months. Right off the heels of the Liberty Lottery at the Peanut City Showdown, Brandon Scott knocked off Jack Swagger, and subsequently it was announced inside the 15-foot high steel cage tonight, October 6, 2018. It would be Brandon Scott and Elijah Burke for the right to take on Billy Gunn before the end of 2018. And here he comes as the Pope once again made his debut four months ago, almost to the day right here in Norfolk for VCW and he was able to defeat Brandon Scott in a one-on-one -on -one encounter Brandon Scott's second loss of 2018 in terms of a pinfall loss and now the Pope reading some of the fans at ringside neither of these two men have a ton of experience inside the cage but we'll see if the veteran Pope can keep up with the craftiness of Brandon Scott, which of course kept that VCW Heavyweight Championship around his waist for roughly 22 months. As the Pope's quickly gained a lot of popularity here in VCW. He gets a rousing ovation from this crowd. That cage is certainly reinforced. It's not going anywhere. It's all come down to this. Now let's head back to the ring as ring announcer Brandon Matheny sets the table for this number one contender cage match main event. Introducing the competitors. First. Standing in the corner to my left, he hails from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, and weighed in 
at 191 pounds, he is a role model, a true humanitarian. He recycles. He turned down the Nobel Prize because he's so humble. He is a friend to all creatures and all people, and he paid my rent twice. Mr. Excellence, Brandon Scott! I don't know what that was all about, but that's one of the most ridiculous introductions I've ever heard. And his opponent, standing to my right, he hails from Jacksonville, Florida, and weighed in at 230 pounds, a Pope Elijah! set. Billy Gunn, not here tonight, but you have to imagine he is chomping at the bit to watch this on the VCW network. To scout his potential competition, he knows Brandon Scott very well in terms of in the ring. He knows the Pope Elijah Burke, but they have not competed against each other many times. Secondary official, the one who will be manning the cage door, officially locks it. And we are set to begin. Bell sounds, we are underway, main event time. Here at a nightmare on Granby Street, Brandon Scott, the Pope Elijah Burke, number one contendership for the VCW Heavyweight Championship inside a 15 foot high steel cage. Once again, referee Mike Melton assigned to this contest. As Brandon Scott, you have to wonder what's next for him if he can't get the victory. As he might have to go back to the drawing board and work his way back up the ladder a bit more and possibly shift his focus somewhere else. As the Pope, signed on the dotted line with George Panthus and the rest of VCW back in the early part of the spring debuted in June in the main event against Brandon Scott, subsequently got the victory, and has signed on for a handful of more appearances, hopefully for him. It's with the VCW heavyweight title around his waist. And we're still in this feeling out process right now. There is no time limit. As Brandon Scott quickly will try to escape the cage. Remember, infall or escape through the door or over the top. And the Pope there. Grounds Brandon Scott with the point of the elbow after a little flip flop and fly. And then he throws Brandon Scott face first right in the steel cage. A very quick introduction for Mr. Excellence to the steel. And the Pope taking a right to Brandon Scott in the corner. This is a man who has competed on the biggest stage of the ball at WrestleMania. And now he looks to gain his first championship opportunity in VCW if he can knock off Brandon Scott. Going pretty well for the Pope in the opening couple of minutes here. There must be a winner in this cage matchup. Fed's chop ring all throughout the Masonic Temple. And this crowd wants to see it again. Brand Scott crawling towards that door. But he was nowhere close to the referee opening it. And near the crowd chanting here. I'm not so sure if they're saying use the cage or use the door, but either way, they want to see this structure get involved. And the Pope lays into him with that knife edge chop. You might have heard that one down the other end of Grammy Street. And now the Pope, who has that boxing background, lighting him up with jabs right in the midsection here. If this were boxing rules, the referee might utilize his discretion and call this thing. 
but Brandon Scott is trapped inside the cage. He's got nowhere to go. As Brandon Scott there finds a bit of an opening as he sends Pope face first into that middle turnbuckle. As Brandon Scott now looks to climb once again, the Pope will follow in pursuit. Oh! And taking a page out of the old Rick Rude playbook. It looks like the sun's not shining for Brandon Scott right now. As Brandon Scott here, in a bit of a precarious spot there on top of the ropes in that corner. He's nearly 15 feet in the air. He's trying to walk a little old school, but the Pope trying to chop him down to size as Brandon Scott, oh! with the misstep. And even if he pulls out the victory, I don't know if there will be an after party for Mr. Excellence. As the Pope has been essentially in full control throughout the first three or four minutes of this matchup. And the Pope with an atomic drop. And there's a clothesline. And now the Pope looks to climb. He looks out to the crowd here. And it looks like he's ready to inflict some more damage. He's not quite done yet with his opponent. As Elijah Burke has undergone a bit of a career resurgence over the last year or two. Competing in Florida, New York other parts of the world, Dominican Republic. Charges in and Brandon Scott. Catapults him face first there in that steel cage. Almost a variety of a stun gun right there. And now both men are down. But again, the referee not administering an account because there must be a winner. Scott there getting those trunks in order. As we are approaching that five minute point of this cage match main event. We've seen two titles go down tonight. Phil Brown successfully retains the United States Liberty Championship, the Bike Club. Still the tag team champions knocking off noise pollution. So the debut of Ace Austin really pushing Gino and giving him a run for his money. And you have to think Gino, another man waiting in the wings. Will he be going after Ken Dixon in his Commonwealth Heritage title, trying to get another shot at that? Or will he be possibly the number two contender for the heavyweight title and maybe get the winner of whoever takes on Billy Gunn out of this matchup? But we still have a whole lot left to go in this cage match main event. As we still have one more event left, 2018 Tidings of Destruction coming your way in early December. You have to imagine one of these two men will either be getting their title shot at that point or perhaps would have already gotten it. There's Brandon Scott there. Trying to rub Pope's face right across that steel cage of Pope. You see him there locking those fingers inside the cage in that mesh. And certainly Trying to put a stop to it, but Brandon Scott does inflict some damage nonetheless. As you see Brandon Scott here trying to slow down the pace a little bit. He turns the hook around and takes him down with that reverse neck breaker. And now Brandon Scott, we've seen this in the past. That middle rope fist drop. Nearly goes three quarters of the way across the ring right there. Incredible distance for Brandon Scott. Unfortunately for him, only gets a one count. And you can see that frustration setting in. And now he calls to the secondary official, brought in to man that door. He opens the latch and now Brandon Scott will look to leave right through the door. He's taking his time with the Pope. Says not on his watch. As Brandon Scott trying to reach but Elijah Burke here looks to pull him back inside the ring. 
and Scott quickly reverses course and sends the Pope face first into that steel cage. You see referee Mike Melton checking in. The Pope will indeed continue as it will take a lot more than that to dispatch Elijah Burke and then Brandon Scott adding insult to injury. Rubbing his face right across that top rope, that's rubber encased in cable. Certainly could cause some friction and burns there across the forehead of the Pope. Adding to the already done damage via the cage. And now a series of knife edge chops right here by Brandon Scott. And the Pope here on the receiving end of these chops. I don't think they're phasing the Pope though as Brandon Scott, I guess we could call this the Scott strut. And the Pope says he wants a little more. It seems the harder Brandon Scott hits the Pope, the more he likes it. And the Pope now, he's had enough. He reverses course, and now he's laying into Mr. Excellence. The Irish whip there. Gonna send him for a ride. Puts his head down, might be a mistake. Brandon Scott turns him around. And once again, the reverse neck breaker. Thought he might have been going for a backslide. Instead, goes to the reverse neck breaker this time. Hooks the outside leg, and only gets two as the Pope now trying to mount a comeback against Mr. Excellence. We are nearing that 10 minute mark of this no time limit main event number one contender steel cage match where the winner will get Billy Gunn before the end of 2018 for the VCW Heavyweight Championship. Scott's got Pope up. Burke puts on the brakes. Scott tries again. And Elijah Burke now reverses course. And look at the strength here of the Pope. That delayed stalling suplex. The blood rushing to the head of Mr. Excellence. He's got him up there. And he comes right down. There's a cover by the Pope. Heads up. Move. To put his hand across the chest of Brandon Scott. I'm not even sure that was on purpose. But nonetheless, the Pope about a half a count away from becoming the number one contender. As Brandon Scott there in the corner, trying to pull himself to his feet as the Pope. Looks like he could be looking to make an exit as he's trying to climb out the door. Brandon Scott sees what's happening and grabs that left foot of Pope. Elijah Burke is halfway out the door here, but Brandon Scott pulls him right back. And the Pope meets the middle rope. And that is completely legal in this scenario. Brandon Scott utilizing all of the elements here in this matchup. And now he looks to go right back to work on the Pope. And there's a slap to the face. That's adding insult to injury. Come on now. As Brandon Scott here in this series is smacked to the face of the Pope. I don't know if you want to tick off the Pope. And here comes Pope right back, peppering him with rights and lefts. As Brandon Scott Looks to climb out of here, not just to win the match, but to get out of the way of the Pope. And now Elijah Burke, he's following and pursued both of these men in very high-risk territory here. Not even just the high red district, these two are going to the penthouse. As the Pope, with a series of body shots. Trying to knock Brandon Scott off of his perch here. And the Pope, oh, face first, right into that steel cage. What's he gonna do with the mirror? Oh, and the belly to back, off the top rope. You've got to be kidding me. Both men risking it all for the chance at heavyweight gold. As the Pope is down, Brandon Scott is down. The number one contendership is hanging in the balance here at Nightmare on Grammy Street. As the Pope is up. Trying to find his bearings here. As both men trying to fight back to their feet.
Burke and Scott exchanging blows here. Back and forth, tooth and nail, right in the center of the ring. The number one contendership is at stake. And here comes the Pope with a forearm right to the chest and a double sledge. Takes Brandon Scott right down. The Irish whip reversed by Mr. Excellence. He puts his head down. Flying forearm by the Pope. He's starting to feel it here. Elijah Burke starting to roll. He's calling for it now. As Brandon Scott back up to his feet. And the point of that elbow driving it right to the temple of Brandon Scott. For a third time now, six. Little flip flop and fly. And Brandon Scott goes right down as the Pope is in control here. Elijah Burke. A big uppercut. Puts Brandon Scott in position. Right there on that middle rope. The Pope here taking his time. Brandon Scott playing a bit of possum. Gets out of the way, but right into a power slam. Pope hooks the leg one, two, two and a half. Brandon Scott kicked out at the nick of time. Heads up move by the Pope to adjust in midair and catch Brandon Scott. As both of these men have left it all in the ring a huge amount has been taken out of each man as we are about to cross that 15 minute threshold. And the Pope with a German suplex and he's going to roll with him. The strength to deadlift your opponent up at this juncture of the match. Literally no energy left. He hits a second German suplex. The Pope still holding the waist lock. Can Elijah Burke hit a third consecutive German suplex and Brandon Scott there. He puts on the brakes. Scott elbows out of it now. Brandon Scott comes in. Pope sidesteps him. Close line attempt by Pope. And Brandon Scott catches him with a boot. And once again, both men are down. And Michael Melton will administer his count. about halfway there. As the Pope, wait a minute. The Pope, heads up move here. Puts Brandon Scott, looks like in a sharpshooter. He turns him around and he has it locked in. He's got the sharpshooter right in the center of the ring. Brandon Scott's got nowhere to go. He might be forced to tap out here. Mr. Excellence trying to crawl towards the ropes. The Pope applying a ton of pressure to that lower back and lumbar region. Brandon Scott somehow, some way grabs that bottom turnbuckle, but the Pope's not letting go. He does have five seconds to break. The last thing Pope wants to do here is the referee to throw this thing out and award it to Brandon Scott because the Pope wouldn't break the hold. Elijah Burke now. In control against Brandon Scott. How will he be able to dispatch Brandon Scott? And if he's able to defeat him here for a second time, he would almost certainly have Brandon Scott's number. There's a snap there by the Pope. And now Burke perches himself up there on that middle turnbuckle. And a mini elbow drop. We saw that earlier from Damian Wayne dropping the bomb from all the way upstairs. This nearly does it for the Pope, but it will only be two. Rapidly approaching the 20 minute point of this matchup. And a 20 minute match of anyone will certainly take a lot out of you and test your cardiovascular conditioning. But nearly 20 minutes in there with a veteran 
inside a steel cage. Brandon Scott has to be sucking wind right now. The Irish whip. Reverse back the other way. Oh! And Brandon Scott right into the referee. There's the DDE. He nails him there with the double knees. Two. That Elijah Express normally would win the matchup. But the referee is down, so since he can't count, the Pope does have another option. He can climb over the top or go right through that door. He's calling for here. The referee opens the latch. The Pope's going to climb through. Wow! What the hell? himself he's now taking his shirt off he's got a Braden Scott shirt on you've got to be kidding me trying to escort this this man he's not even a referee to the back mass confusion right now Mike Melton is down one two three there's no one to count the Pope is laid out from that cage door shot As Brandon Scott realizing the situation here, you have to wonder, was this all part of some master plan between Brandon Scott and what now could be considered a scab referee? As Brandon Scott here smacks Mike Melton in the face, that'll certainly wake him up. The crowd chanting for the Pope. But Brandon Scott, you have to imagine now, in full control. There's the Irish up here on the near side buckle. The Pope gets out of the way. Brandon Scott, there's a slice of excellence from the middle turnbuckle. He's got him. One, two. We got a new number one contender. No, we do not. As the frustration sets in yet again for Brandon Scott, Plan A with the scab official does not work out to his liking. As both men attempting to get back to their feet here, we see the Pope grabbing, trying to reach towards those ropes. Brandon Scott trying to gain a second win. The crowd whipped into a frenzy here. Trying to get behind the Pope. They know what's at stake. The VCW Heavyweight Championship shot hanging in the balance. Both men back to vertical base here. Brandon Scott goes to set Pope for a ride. Pope reverses course and sends him face first into the cage. And Pope now tries to go back the other way. And Brandon starts to climb. Brandon now scaling those ropes. Pope following in pursuit here. And the Pope ramming Brandon Scott face first into the top of that cage. Mr. Excellence teetering, and he goes crashing down right to the referee. Scary moment there for referee Michael Melton. His knee might have got taken out as he appears to be hobbled here. And the Pope now sends Brandon Scott for a ride. Irish whip reversal, puts his head down. One, two. And the sunset flip, one, two. Flips him back around, one, two. Brandon Scott with the roll up, two, no. And he can't get him, two. And they bridge out, series of pinfall attempts. And the Pope now going for the backslide. Brandon turns him around in a tombstone position. He's got him right in the center of the ring. The Pope trying to get out of it. He's gonna reverse it. He's right there in the center of the ring. He spikes him down with the tombstone pile driver. But once again, both men are down. As we are rapidly approaching 25 minutes here. 
The second time these two have hooked it up and another instant classic here in BCW, the Pope with the cover, one, two. And two and three quarters. As you can hear the hush coming over this crowd as they sense the desperation for both men. As the Pope now, trying to game plan in his head. We're in overtime here, folks. The gaslight is on for both men. It's essentially sudden death at this juncture as Brandon Scott with the jawbreaker Tries to find himself an opening. And now he looks to climb yet again. That secondary ref is no longer here as he turned out to be a turncoat along with Brandon Scott. Now Brandon, he's all the way up top. Very dangerous scenario here for both men. As Brandon being pulled back on the inside by the Pope. As both men here teeter-tottering on that top rope. The Pope with the smack. Scott coming right back. These two going back and forth here. And the Pope sends Brandon face first into the cage. He goes down. And Mike Melton once again feeling the effects of it. And now the Pope, he's all the way upstairs. He's got a chance to climb out of here and be the number one contender. Wait, what's he doing? The Pope shifts his focus back towards the ring. The Pope, he's 15 feet in the air. Gross body takes him out. as the Pope Elijah Burke from the heavens above with the crossbody taking out his opponent Brandon Scott as well as the official. And Pope's got the cover. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. As the referee is laid out here, we know there's no credible second official. The security guard here, stepping in, unlatches the door, the Pope's got it, all he's gotta do is climb through. And the Pope, he's out the door, and the Pope is about to be the number one contender. So the Pope has won but there's no referee to make this official. As the Pope realizing the situation here, he goes back to revive the ref. Mike Melt looks laid out. And Brandon Scott, oh no! That vicious low blow. He rolls up Pope. He pulls Mike Melton over. He sees a cover too. No, but that's gonna do it. The time of the fall, 26 minutes and 50 seconds. Your winner and number one contender, Brandon Scott. By hook or by crook. Again, finding a way to be the number one contender for the V.